So do you think it's got easier or do you think it's got harder to get a film made? Well, harder for me because I wanted to get bigger and better each one. If I wanted to go out um, and make a movie that didn't have lots of pyros and lots of heavy practical special effects, mm. I could go out there and you know make movies that were a few grand I, I i dare say but um um so it's got harder to make a movie that you want to make as as it as time's gone on because and i don't mean this in a derogatory way but with today's technology i think we mentioned it earlier it's so easy anyone can just pick up a device and make a movie before it's like you had to get the equipment and that was the mm. hard part but so it's easier in terms of you could just go out and shoot a film but as I said, for me, I didn't want to keep treading the same, even though the movies are in the same genre and they have certain almost like signature marks, like each one has a torture sequence. What were your biggest learning curves? What, what's the biggest learning curve from each film? Yeah, so with Sudden Fury, the whole movie for me was a learning curve. I'd never done a feature. Well, there's a lot of things. I've never had so many actors in a, in a movie. I'd never done a production as big as that. You're, you're talking up until the sudden fury. It was like, you know, weekend and you're out of there with mm. two or three mates. So I'll shoot you, you shoot me. Let's blow the apple tree up down the bottom of the garden. Hey, we, we, you know, we've made a little movie. You know, with shorts and not ever having done a feature and I guess never really thinking about it. It's like, okay, I've now got this film. What do I do with it? But because it was like the film was, you know, part financed by a German company, that they they did sales and stuff. But you also learn the pitfalls. Not everyone's your friend. Not every not people. If if they, you know, people want to make money on your product as well. So you got to be, you know, you, you want to be careful of that, and and not just go with the first person that shows you interest in your movie. If you're somewhere where you've got a film market going on. Don't go with the first person. Just say, yeah. okay, that's great. I'm really pleased that you, you know, you, you want to take the movie. I've got a couple of other things to, you know, uh, to chase up, and I, you know, I'll get back to you. They, they know the score, but they're also, you know, if you go, yeah, all right, then they'll snap your hand up and sign you up as well. So, yeah, the markets have changed uh, dramatically. Just you know, within the last 25 years of my three films, when I first went to uh, Sudden Fury, the other film, The Marshall, was absolutely packed with hundreds and hundreds of different. Uh, film distributors from all over the globe buying and selling, you know, movies. And it time I was going back with uh, like a day of violence in, I went when we were in production and I went when the film was finished. Um, half, the, half the space were, were emptied. It was just all a little, little bit stale, same sort of posters going up there. And I guess that, that was the start of the decline of like, physical media and because mm. a lot of the you know independence we're not going to get to the cinema mm. and i think i don't know what's going to happen with cinema now mm. covid's pr proven in the studios release and stuff straight on netflix does that mean cinema's dead mm. uh, you know it, it there's a platform going forward all video you know video on demand beyond fury i've decided that i want to do try and do self uh, distribution and contact you know, i'm contacting con you know contacts i've had over the years <laughs> release my previous movies and seeing if they you know will take uh you know take a bite on beyond fury but it's very very difficult at the moment um but yeah obviously things still still selling and all the rest of it and uh but it's, it's not something that happens overnight so i imagine the rest of this year uh it will be you know on, on the sales side of things just do you have any ideas for what your next project's gonna be yeah well i maybe alluded to it a little bit earlier i mean i've I'd love to do a horror movie. Yeah, it's a small, contained horror movie, but proper horror. You know, yeah. not not you know old school horror, seventies horror, not what mm. I call sort of watered down sort of you know cabin in the woods horror. Um, mm. So I'd like to do horror. I'd like to do uh, I'd like to do a giallo, which I don't have a script for. Um, well, there's an idea that I started to write a script up for, so I could pick mm. that. I'd I'd love to do something like you know the old proper. Black gloved assassin, don't know who it is right till the final reel. Yeah. Um, and I'd also love to do a western. I, not that again. I, I got I got a treatment for a western I wrote yeah. about twenty five years ago. Um, I you know I, I love the Italian westerns and I've been to Almeria a, a, a couple of times. Where still the sets are still there, so you can 
you go around there and film a good, the bad. Well, they shot over 800 westerns there, but most famously, all the Leone sets are still there, et cetera, et cetera. And people still film there. I would love, I would absolutely love to shoot a, a, a Western in Italian approach and style, but with, you know, real big Sam Peckinpah blood yeah. squibs going off. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the town red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I, I would love to do that. And lastly, can I be in it? Can you be in it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. We're always <laughs> looking for cannon fodder. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted, because I can't act. <laughs> Great. No, always looking for fresh blood on the kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no totally, totally. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, yes. anyone that asks, I always squeeze people in. Because, you know, why not? Why not? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll write that one down. I'll, I'll hold yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, get, get that down on the contract. Yeah, Sam can be in the movie, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you missed parts one to three, Darren and I discuss his filmography from Sudden Fury, A Day of Violence, and Beyond Fury.